Hello there, my name is Matt and I'm here with Shine Life English Centre in Vietnam. And today in this video, we're going to be carrying on from our previous video about ways to express dislike. In this video, we're going to be focusing more on the intense ways, the more intense ways to show your dislike for something. So the first one, the first example I have for you today is I don't appreciate. Now saying I don't appreciate is quite a subtle way to show your dislike for something, but it's still quite intense. If I say I don't appreciate the way that you're talking to me, it means I'm very, very upset. The next phrase that you can use to show an intense dislike for something is I'm sick of. It's quite a rude way to say that you dislike something. Maybe you feel like you're being lied to. You can say, I'm so sick of being lied to. Now, as I said in the previous video, English people love to complain. So the next phrase was used quite frequently. You might have heard, I can't stand. I can't stand it when people talk in the cinema. I can't stand it when people push in the queue. This means you've had enough. You can't take it. It really, really makes you angry. Another quite commonly used phrase is, I can't bear it. I can't bear it when my coffee takes ages in the morning. I can't bear it having to wait every day for the bus. I can't bear this cold weather. And what this phrase really means is, I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. The last example on our list today is, I've had enough of. Really, when you've taken everything you can, when you've been through as much as your emotions can handle, you would say, I've had enough of. For example, I've had enough of being treated like a child. I've had enough of this job. So there you have it. There's a few examples of more intense ways to express your dislike for something. These are perhaps not the most polite ways to say, some, to say things, but often being polite is not enough. A thing to remember, you may have seen from my gestures today, is that what you say isn't always as important as the emotions you show when you're saying it. Any of these phrases can be more intense or less intense based on the emotions that you show when you express them. I hope this has been useful for you today and uh, I look forward to seeing you again next time. Goodbye.